it sounds a little bit like science fiction. I sometimes say it's the computer science fiction uh, about AI and, and, and people think, well, artificial intelligence is the automation of intelligent behavior, but also a school of thinking um, to tackle challenges previously um, preserved for, let's say, human intelligence. Um, by uh, emulating and combining uh, human skills such as uh, speech, uh, vision, perception, uh, knowledge, understanding, reasoning and so on. There's an interesting quote from some AI pioneer 50 years ago and he said as soon as it works nobody calls it artificial intelligence anymore. The, the, the interesting part is really the variety of application areas you can, let's say, tackle with all the variety of methods from, from AI. Uh, many people do not know how much artificial intelligence is already working around there, is already common. Think about navigation systems. There are lots of results from artificial intelligence research implemented in a navigation system, but also in chess computer or optical character recognition already use technology from the field of artificial intelligence. Lots of uh, development in AI is due to the availability of data. Um, on a broad view, you can distinguish between different areas. For example, cognitive intelligence, where you have to calculate some numbers, where you try to store data and retrieve data, you have to sort data. But beside cognitive intelligence, there are many more facets of intelligence, for example, emotional intelligence or social intelligence, and these fields are really rewarding. But they will improve over time. They will become more flexible. You can have real dialogues, real, uh, real communication. Uh, systems will uh, learn to well, to read your emotion, uh, things like that, to, to, to cope with other aspects uh, of, well, human communication. You have to deal with people and you have to deal uh, to see how to attract them with those systems without opening up the complexity which is behind. In many situations, the, the primary goal is to assist the people in what they do in their business or everyday life. This uh, German term of the fourth industrial revolution and uh, there's plenty of room to utilize AI technology within the factory to improve working in the factory, to improve also work uh, of the people that uh, operate in the factory, to assist them, to help them, to, to be more flexible. If you look with the new possibilities of technologies, you find so many interesting areas where it might be possible in the next three or five years where application of artificial intelligence might be possible and very innovative and have lots of usage. We need to go uh, towards this research for AI to have the explainability um, of the decisions so that people can trust and that yeah, ethics standards are, um, let's say, uh, justified. And only if you are able to combine all those uh, tools uh, in a good way, then you will come up with a, a real um, fascinating artificial intelligence uh, system.